Here we have another trinomial where the a value is not equal to 1. So the first thing we're going to do is look for a GCF. When I look at all three terms, I see all three terms have a y in common. So my GCF for this problem is the term y. So what I'm going to do for step one is I'm going to factor out a y from each term of this trinomial. It's going to leave behind 6x squared minus 7x minus 5. So now I'm done with step one. Now I want to use the AC method or the grouping method because my A value is 6. So I'm on to step two now. If I do A times C, that means I'm doing 6 times negative 5 and that equals negative 30. So I need factors of negative 30 that add up to negative 7. So I can tell that I want 3 and 10. Now, I want them to add up to negative 7, so I want the 3 positive and the 10 negative. And the reason I want those numbers is because 3 plus negative 10 is equal to negative 7. All right, now I can move on to step 3. All right, so for step 3, that middle term, negative 7x, I want to rewrite that using the positive 3 and the negative 10. So when I have 6x squared, after 6x squared, I'm going to write plus 3x minus 10x minus 5. And notice I'm keeping the GCF of y as part of my problem. I can't get rid of that. That stays with me the whole time until I'm done. But now that I have four terms inside the parentheses, I can do factor by grouping. So I'm going to look at the 6x squared plus the 3x, and I notice they have a GCF of 3x. So I keep my y for step four. I'm going to start factoring by grouping. I keep my y on the outside, but now I'm going to need two sets of grouping symbols, the parentheses, and then outside of them I need the brackets, and here's why. So I have a bracket to show that first I'm going to take out the GCF of 3x, but then that leaves behind 2x plus 1. Now I close that parenthesis. Now I move on to the other terms, the minus 10x minus 5. Since it's leading with a negative 10x, I want to factor out a negative GCF. So they both share a 5 in common, and I want it to be a negative 5. And then in parentheses, it changes the signs, and it leaves behind 2x plus 1. So then I close those parentheses, and then I need a bracket around that to include everything in one group because the GCF of Y is on the outside of all of that. Now, this is when we get to get really excited because our two binomials match. That means we're on the right path to solving this problem. So we're ready to give our answer. We have our Y as our GCF. The 3X minus 5 makes up one binomial, and then the 2X plus 1 makes up the other binomial. So there's my answer. But of course, we want to do the check. So when I check this, I'm going to first multiply the two binomials. So I'm going to leave Y on the outside, and I'm going to get 6X squared plus 3X minus 10X minus 5. Then I'm going to combine like terms in the middle. And I still have y on the outside, but now I have 6x squared minus 7x minus 5. And then my final step is to distribute that GCF y. And I get 6x squared y minus 7xy minus 5y. And then I know that that matches my original problem. So I know my factored answer, y times 3x minus 5 times 2x plus 1, is the correct factorization.